I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, Virgo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because it's how to keep up with y'all see the comments below, right? Also, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly general tarot reading, Virgo, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra time, Virgo, to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Virgo. I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the extra step to do that for me as well, Virgo. Uh, I just want to say before we get into this weekly general tarot reading for you, um, that this, I believe, when it comes to my readings at least, that I believe that the cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making a choice in your life because it's your life to live, Virgo, not mine, not these cards, darling. And truly, no matter, no tarot reader that you get a reading from in general, but that's none of my business, right? So, Virgo, enough of my babbling, let's just start getting into your reading, and we're going to start out your weekly uh, reading, Virgo, with your objective card. Now, your objective card is the energy that you're going to be uh, exuding this week, and if you're not exuding it, you want to try to um, get to that energy, right? And in this week, it's going to be the Spirit of Cups, opportunity and creativity. So the Spirit of Cups is in normal tarot, the Page of Cups, uh, Virgo. So in this dynamic, think of it in this way of where you're trying to welcome in something new. <laughs> sounds so vague. You're trying to do your best at any point this week. You want to go with the intention, Virgo, of, um, I mean, yeah, kind of like welcoming, welcoming in new energy, trying to create possibilities. So this would be a very good week, Virgo, to, um, you know, even just entertain the idea of doing projects, right? Put out feelers for new projects, right? You know, if you've been holding out this on this one project, this is your sign to do it. If you've been looking, you know, it's just all about um, creating opportunity. So when you have spirit in this way, telling you, uh, Virgo, it's called y'all spirit, Virgo, so when you have them telling you this, it's in this dynamic where they're trying to kind of give you an affirmation that there's something here that could like be a really good start for you. Um, it's something that I'm getting, right? Because I'll, why else would your guides, your ancestors, whatever it is you believe in, Virgo, why would they tell you to be in this place of trying to bring something into the new? Or, if, you know, this is such a side message as well, Virgo, if some of you guys have been very specific, though, I want to just be very careful with my wording, honey, because I don't want this to come off as, like, I don't want people to entertain things that are not good for them, either. But... This does talk about deepening of connections, current connections. If there's somebody that you have been, um, if this is more so just like, like if you've been holding like a little bit of like a, be honest with yourself, Virgo, if you've been holding a grudge over towards someone where you're, if you can look at it from their intentions, like if they weren't intentionally trying to hurt you, um, talk to them. But again, like, don't be entertained. That doesn't mean that you need to entertain that one awful person in your life that makes you feel awful about yourself or anything like that. Don't be making excuses. Don't be creating excuses for them, right? But we're moving on from that. The clarifiers that we have for the original message for your page of cups. And now I feel like I have hair in my eye. <laughs> I'm a mess, Virgo. I'm so, so sorry. We have the eight of cups for you as I go ham on my eye. We have the Eight of Wands for you. Did I say King of Cups? King of Cups. What did I even say? Uh, and then the Eight of Wands. And then the Three of Cups. Not that I wish it was the Three of Cups, darling. It's the Three of Swords. The very opposite. <laughs> um, so... This is kind of what I was saying, actually. Holy crap. Um, I didn't even look at these cards before I went to that message about, like, if there was someone that you had, like, a little bit of an argument with. Hmm, look at me um anyways yeah with this dynamic king of cups and with this three of swords um this is kind of like in more mature energy looking at things and like kind of having a more balanced approach to your energy make sure you're coming from an empowered place right with the eight of wands you want to make sure of that you want to be able to freely 
let go of things that don't make you feel empowered. But if something is there that like maybe there's just like a little bit of a random fight, right? Maybe a little bit of a misunderstanding. Um, King of Cups. I'm just going to put it there, right? Um, I'm going to leave it at that though, Virgo, because I'm not trying to pry into y'all's business too much. And it's really not my business to say how y'all should handle y'all's relationships in your life, especially if there is some pain brought involved in it, right? Especially with that Three of Swords signifying that. But it's neither here nor there. Let's talk about this Ace of Cups. I keep on wanting to call everything Cups, apparently. Let's get into this Ace of Pentacles for you. What's going on here? What is going on here for Virgo with this Ace of Pentacles? So, hmm. The clarifiers for this is the um, Hermit card. The Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords. And then the Ace of Swords. So there is some type of resistance towards, um, even if it's not a person from what I was saying before Virgo, and there's just like something that you put energy at before, like it's almost like you fell flat on your face with it before, I'm gonna be honest, right? There's some type of pain associated with you like shooting your shot with something, whether it's a person or a project of some sort. And so then it would make more sense as to that other message of what I was saying, where it's like, this is a week of like, doing like just putting out projects and stuff like that because in this dynamic it shows to me of a virgo that um it's giving me a dynamic that they kind of like something happened when they last tried to go out for their cornucopia um when they were going towards something that they thought was a really good idea with that ace of swords hermit and then the nine of swords this is where i'm just like ooh, okay darling so either something happened or yeah, I feel like either something happened or you're just like way too much in your shell with this idea, Virgo, and you just choose not to do it because you are insecure or whatever, that you just don't want people to look at you in that way or you just feel like it needs to be perfect, right? Because a lot of you Virgos, you have a perfection problem, right? Um, regardless in whether, or whatever way, it's almost just like you are now in the space of being in your shell, whether it's because of the last time you tried, it was so blah, like whatever happened or whatever now you're just in this place of not wanting to get out of your shell because of anxiety for whatever that reasoning is right whether it could be an outside perception or whether it's even just internal where you feel like maybe you're not good enough right um but you don't want to make a mistake again is something that i'm just hearing with this four of pentacles you don't want to make a mistake again eight of wands mm, interesting so I don't think I even said anything, Virgo. Pulling clarifiers for this. And so we have the Six of Wands, the Judgment card, and then the Eight of Wands for this dynamic. So Virgo, it's like you're scared of making the judgment call. You're scared of making the judgment call because you don't want to make, you don't want to mess this up. You don't want to have something fall flat on your face whether because it happened before or you just don't want that now like see notice how i keep on going back to the like whether it happened or not because for some of you virgos i feel like you're kind of convincing yourself of a reality that's just never happened or where it's just like you convince yourself that you're gonna fail but it just kind of makes no sense as to how you came to this conclusion because it's not like you've done it before or it's just like you just would have to think so low of yourself and it would just be like ooh, like why would you want to do that baby girl like i know again it's none of my business for how you feel about yourself but you know what kind of life do you want to live if you just choose to allow never grab up at anything just because you just always will be the first one to convince yourself that you're going to fail before you even try it because here's the thing virgo with the six of wands here there's like a victory here like you're this is perfectly capable of just like going up these steps you're perfectly able to but you have to just do it you can't just look at those steps and be like oh, i have a bad knee so i'm never going to be able to get it up there so i might as well just not try and i'm just like well yeah maybe you do have like a bad knee but have you ever tried right Again, I know it's not my business, honey, so I'll try my best to keep mind it, but I mean, you do come to this reading, darling, but <laughs> I don't know, it kind of does bum me out, though. 
Virgo, if this is your story, it really does bum me out. And I don't know, it's just a shame. So let's get into the Seven of Cups because there is this sense of indecision here, right? With the Seven of Cups meaning. Now, the Seven of Cups, it could be just the indecision in general, or it could be because of the several choices. Because again, you don't want to make the wrong choice. You want to, in your head right now, Virgo, you want to make the right choice. You want to be in this place where it's just like whatever you invest your pentacles into, you want it to be good, right? You don't want it to have that failure. So let's see here. What are the. Right, let's see what's going on here with your seven of cups will clear for it. And I feel like I'm being bitten. I have sp this is springtime now and I live in Washington, Dorgo, so it's like all the wolf spiders and stuff are out and just if you don't know what a wolf spider looks like, just Google it, darling. And so it's just like I acted really calmly on camera because I don't want to edit this, but <laughs> I was feeling a pretty strong random bite, but I don't think it's Maybe I'm just crazy. Anyways, Virgo, the clarifiers that we have for your Seven of Cups is the Moon card, the Fool card, the, oh my God, the Strength card, a lot of major arcana, and then the Three of Pentacles. And how many cards we got here, honey? And then the Nine of Cups. How many cards? I guess y'all Virgo got five cards. I normally only ever, I always say it too. I'm like a broken record, huh? I normally ever pull like three cards and at most usually four, but unexpectedly y'all got five. But I feel like this is necessary <laughs> um, because of all the major arcana lets, me, lets us kind of just know how important the situation is, how um, pivotal this kind of, um, Virgo, I can't help but just feel like you have the opportunity to do something really big. I, have, I can't help but feel like you can really throw yourself into the deep end with something, which I can acknowledge on one point of view that how like intimidating that will be, how that sounds, but it's almost just like this sense of where you kind of just need to just do it. You kind of need to just bury yourself, like go deep within Virgo and kind of just make the choice of being like, oh, hey, like, yeah, you may not know what's out there, right? You don't know how other people are going to perceive you, right? But you kind of just need to be the fool and just do it. Work through those uh, those insecurities, right? With the strength card. Don't allow like the things that are like making you hold yourself back, whether it's like your weight, whether it's your looks, whether it's like whatever. Do not allow that to be the reason as to why you don't put out these projects, to why you don't put yourself out there, Virgo. Um, Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, it's because it's showing to me directly where it's just like your indecision, indecision, your indecision is directly impacting contract, like welcoming in contracts into your life, welcoming in extreme self-fulfillment in your life. There's just like this weird fear that you have. Well, I guess it's not weird. A lot it happens to a lot of us, right? But it's just one of those things you have to kind of work through, Virgo. You kind of have to work through this. And if you do work through it, right, I just see something so promising for you. I really do. And this is where we get into your uh, page of wands. This is where we get into that passionate, fiery new beginning for you, Virgo. This is where the fun starts, I feel. So let's pull some clarifiers for this. Let's see what that looks like for you. No, we're not taking these. The card that came up at the bottom, though, is the Hermit. So you really need to get out of your shell, uh, Virgo. What is it going to take for you to get out of your shell, though? Let's see. <sighs> All right, Virgo. So for your Page of Wands here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Three of Cups. So 
my beautiful virgo what do we have going for you ten of pentacles is like having your cake and eating it too not only do you have that stability that everyone always craves in life right um where you no longer have to question those that are around you their intentions their thoughts their feelings right you don't have to worry about their intention um you have the finances right just normally out of what the pentacles represents right so you have stability in terms of your emotion. You have emotional stability. You have financial stability, right? By leaning into that new passion, by leaning into some type of passion with the Page of Wands, right? And this is not me just dramatizing things because you have these other two cl clarifiers as well. Like you can literally look up the meaning of these cards, Virgo. Like I don't just fluff things up. I just tell y'all the meaning of the cards and just I give you a storyline of how you would relate the these cards to a storyline right it's up to you to piece it back to how it correlates in your life but with this three of cups here and this wheel of fortune this is the dynamic of where it's just like the wheels start turning into your favor you and the three of cups brings in where it's just like even if you only wanted to believe me virgo where the ten of pentacles is just about that financial security and you're just like oh yeah right i'm not gonna have like that family life i'm not gonna have that love life right and you're not gonna have that family that you've always been craving right because some of you virgos probably have turned a little bit cynical darling um you get the three of cups here where it shows to you it's just like no like you are sharing your cup with other people. You are not going to be alone, Virgo. So it's kind of interesting to me that that message felt the need to come forward because it's almost like for some of y'all, y'all just are like, I can't help but feel like some of y'all have like given up on just like being hopeful in life, which is a bummer, right? It's a bummer that you can't like, like what stops you from really maintaining this full energy and taking chances, even if it's just on yourself, Virgo. It's a bummer that it's just because of your own shadow work that you need to do, your insecurities or whatever. And just because you're you're afraid of the unknown, you're afraid of you don't know what might happen. You might get hurt, you might fail, but it's just like, okay, right? How, are you, how is you not trying any, getting you any better of a result than failing, even if you were to hypothetically fail? right but it's not my business right so let's get into your final card the empress card all right let's see what's going on here for virgo the cards already flew out back of the deck already though the moon card so this is really addressing like the unknown for you this is addressing um what going out what you kind of going taking this risk brings forward to you. So your clarifiers are the three of wands. So you just kind of follow the bread trail, breadcrumbs, right? And follow the bread trail of where it is spirit's trying to guide you to. Even if it's all the unknown, as long as you stay the course, it shows, I mean, in my eyes, I see this as like, I mean, especially with the Empress, because the Empress is not only giving birth to her dreams, right? Giving birth, um, but she's extremely in tune and connected with the world around her, which, we give you the emphasis on really kind of just trusting the process, you know, don't allow um, the thoughts in your head to dictate where, that's an awful way of what I was trying to say, do not allow your insecurities dictate your life and dictate where it is that you should be going, right? That's what I want to say. And then this is your eight of pentacles. This is just card of where it's like, yeah, this is all going to be scary, but it's all in the intent of you learning more about yourself the only way that you learn more about yourself is by challenging and really kind of spooking yourself essentially so if you find if you if there is like this idea of yours that kind of like makes you um get weak in the knees or makes you nervous that's good that's intended right because that shows to you like that shows that you even acknowledge how huge this could be for you and you should lean into it more why would you lean away from that those are the feelings that you want to like be in because that's how you get into wonderful opportunities how that's how you get um <laughs> that's how you just find your happiness it sounds so cheesy but i i don't know all right, Virgo, that's the cards that I have for you for this weekly general tarot reading. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Virgo, I do a weekly general tarot reading for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, even if they're not, send them their video. Send them their zodiac sign video. And maybe they might find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, though, Virgo, I love you so much.